As part of his trip to Sri Lanka, the Pope met with leaders of the country's major religions, Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, and Christianity. It was a one-of-a-kind meeting, and the local cardinal recognized its importance. It is no doubt a sacred and unique event which goes down in the history of Sri Lanka. Buddhist monks welcomed the Pope with this song. The Hindu representative gave the Pope a bright cover, while the Muslim leader condemned the recent attacks Islamic terrorists carried out in Paris and Pakistan. Islam has no relationship with regard to such practices and evil conduct and deeds. In his speech, the Pope explained that interfaith dialogue is a tool that fosters respect. A dialogue is sincere, he said, when no one masks or denies their beliefs. If we are honest in presenting our convictions, we will be able to see more clearly that what we hold in common. New avenues will be open for mutual esteem cooperation, and indeed friendship. He also called for all ethnicities and religions to work together in rebuilding Sri Lanka. It is my hope that interreligious and ecumenical cooperation will demonstrate that men and women do not have to forsake their identity, whether ethnic or religious, in order to live in harmony with the Tay brothers or sisters. The country suffered a civil war that lasted over 25 years, causing more than 100,000 deaths and roughly 1 million refugees. The conflict had religious undertones. On one side, there was the Buddhist government. On the other, the Hindu guerrilla. He also added that even amid the adversity, a spirit of fraternity must rise. Once again, he highlighted that religion should never be used as a tool for violence. For the sake of peace, religious beliefs must never be allowed to be abused in the cause of violence and war. We must be clear and unequivocal in challenging our communities to live fully the tenets of peace and coexistence found in his religion and to, the mon and to denounce acts of violence when they are committed. And before heading out, Pope Francis made his way around the hall, greeting people and receiving gifts from representatives of each religion.